All right, today we have a Holden VE sun visor clip. And basically I'm gonna show you guys how to remove the clip out of the roof lining and deassemble it. And then we'll reassemble it back together and reinstall it back in. So I'll show you with it removed out of the car first. And then I'll show you a video of us doing it inside the car. Um, the GoPro footage wasn't exactly clear uh, it, was, it was pointing down um, a lot so we couldn't really see what we were doing so basically it's easier to show you guys like this so first off we have the outer sun visor clip housing that looks like this it comes with basically four part five parts here so you've got um, the spring the part that where the spring goes onto the little tab that slides through the whole lot and holds it all together and this metal bracket here that goes into the metal roof so we grab this first um, basically you want to put that spring back into that spot where it's seated like that if it's fell out already so that's what it looks like and then you put, slide that bugger in there make sure it gets seated properly like that and then if you haven't bent this metal clip it should go in nice and good like that it locks into place and now what you want to do is you want to make sure there's a clear path running straight through the guts there because that's where that pin's going to go and basically it's going to go through that gap there and it's going to be seated right into this little spot at the other end so we'll show you that this sharp part here so basically the square in is on the outside and that pointy end goes in first you want to keep the channel exposed upwards because it makes for easy removal again so basically you just slide that in like that and if it's all seated properly you're going to have an easy time pushing it in if it's not which it is right now it's seated really easily if it's not i'll show you guys what you're going to do you just got to give it a bit of help as it slides in at the front there just go in there with a flattered screwdriver and put some pressure on it to point it down so it goes into that little seated spot not as easy as it seems now oh, the springs come out hold on a second it's getting a bit labor intensive it's gonna cost a thousand dollars now to do this car <laughs> all right slide that pin in with the spring back in place that metal bracket like that yep looks all good sharp part goes in first like that point that front part down like this and boom that's in so that's basically all reassembled and when you want to reinstall it back in the roof line you basically just push that part through and it will lock via that these sides here those little tabs and then you'll hear a couple of sounds and it'll just lock itself in place again once it's locked back in place it will look like that in the roof lining again and to remove it you can't just pull it out or nothing like that you actually got to start the opposite way again so to remove one of these sun visor clips out of the Holden V Commodore you want to come around the back grab it with like an upholstery pin or a flathead screwdriver like I am now slide that pin out like that don't lose it and then the whole unit comes down and there's a pin and all that stuff so basically just keep that all aside and that metal bracket will stay in the roof lining to take the metal bracket out to reinstall that clip you grab some multi clips and push down like that on either side and that will release it so that will be back out again and that's basically it so that's how you do the sun visor clips on the Holden VE. Whack that bugger back together. Uh, 
and I'll see if I have some GoPro footage I'll show you straight after about with us doing it inside the car. So if you want to know more about the Holden VE Commodore roof lining on how to do it, we have a full um, course that we offer. I'll put the link in the description below. It basically comes with a ebook titled Headlining Secrets and it also comes with video courses that we have of us doing the Holden V Commodore, um, the Holden V Commodore with a DVD player with a sunroof. So we basically covered the whole lot and then you can apply those steps from the sedan that we teach you and you can apply those steps to a, um, a ute and a wagon models as well. So if you want to if you're tackling your own roof lining repair for a Holden VE, you just have to go to that description below if you guys want to. Check it out and see what we have on offer to download and it'll definitely help you guys out. We'll just show you the professional way on how to repair the um, Holden VE Commodore. So that's it guys, hopefully you liked it. Um, just subscribe to our channel, that really helps us out and leave a comment below on what else you would like to know. and. Um, We'll see if we can cover it in the days and weeks ahead. But yeah, thank you very much for watching. Cheers.